Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Real Chinese Food. My name is Jay. My name is E. In today's episode, we're gonna try a very iconic Chinese food, baozi or bao in English. We're going to see how it's been made, how it tastes like, how to build a proper meal around it, and most importantly, the culture behind it. So the place we're going today is called Gou Bu Li, and the direct translate would be "dog doesn't give a." I've heard a couple versions of the stories behind it, but most say it's because the founder's nickname is called Doggy, and because his baozi was very popular, so he was always focusing on making baozi and ignoring everybody else. That's why others gave him the name Dog doesn't pay attention or Dog doesn't give a. So the restaurant was founded in 1858. And over 160 years, it has been one of the most popular baozi in China. Wow! So baozi, the bao which means to wrap, is a very common and popular food in China. It was actually discovered back in Song Dynasty around 960 years. There's three major ways to cook it: steam, pan fry, and bake. Filling actually could be anything you want: meat, veggie, even red beans. The most interesting. Uh, feeling I've ever tried. It's pure sugar wrapped in the bun. After it's been steamed, the sugar will liquefy into a syrup. So it's super hot and sweet. Like kids always love sweet. You know?、Oh. Yeah. So that's that's actually my favorite. All right, here we are. My name is Candy. I am the manager of Gobuli Richmond Hill. Gobuli was established in 1858 in Tianjin, China. Our buns are mostly accurately described as thin dough and lots of filling, fat but not greasy. Baozi are traditionally paired with lamb offal soup and enjoyed with a dipping sauce mixed with black vinegar, spicy oil, and minced garlic. Then our baozi. Each of our baozi are handmade individually and not pre-made frozen. The baozi are steamed for six minutes and are made fresh to order. Typically, they're served seven to eight minutes after the order is placed. Every baozi dough and filling is weighed 40 gram. Oh, it's standardized. Yes, with a variance of no more than 0.2 gram. What makes our baozi so tender is our unique soupy filling. The earliest Gobuli baozi recipe was blending the water with pork fillings in order to make it more tender. Nowadays, we've been using chicken stock instead of water to improve the taste of our baozi. Wow. Amazing. So the recipe has been replaced and have better taste now. This is what baozi? This is traditional baozi. Oh, this is traditional baozi. Let's see. They were saying this is a pork one. The traditional. Like the tricky part is、uh, every time you eat baozi, you never know what is inside. <laughs> you can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell. Yeah. It just looks exactly the same outside.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、cool. let's get started.、Uh, but first, we're gonna pour some vinegar. I love vinegar. For me, I'll get some chili oil. Hmm, this smells so good. I'm just learning from you because I I actually never had baozi with vinegar. Yeah, this vinegar. is this is actually kind of my thing.、Uh-huh. This is from the northern part of China. Not every baozi need the dipping sauce.、Mm-hmm. Uh, normally, when we eat big bao like da baozi,、mm-hmm. we just like grab it and eat it. But when we eat xiao long bao or this kind of baozi, like this side of baozi or dumplings, we normally get this kind of sauce on it. Okay. Yeah, let's give it a go. Like a dip. Mmm, the bun is soft. It's fluffy, but it's not 
super fluffy. It's uh, chewy. It's chewy. Mm. Mm. The skin is super thin mm -hmm. and has a lot of filling into it. And the, the meat is really flavorful. It's juicy. You know, the green onion pops out, like makes the flavor even richer. Mm. Did they add milk in this? No. Normally the chefs, they'll get up so early, like four in the morning or two in the morning, or even last night, they start stew or slow cooked it. The lamb bones, sometimes cow bones. Uh, they oh, just make the old bones together. Bones. That's from the bones. Yeah. This is bone soup actually, this is not the meat. So I know this one, this one's lawn, mm -hmm. and uh, this one is uh, tripe. Tripe, yeah. okay, tripe. And uh, they got uh, the liver. Oh, that one has a really special taste. Taste of yeah. it. And uh, I think this one is meat or just hard. You know, I don't think everyone can take this soup. Like, <laughs> this is absolutely a culture shock. Yeah. You know, uh, whenever you use spoon to drink soup. What's wrong with spoon? Isn't a spoon just used for the yeah, soup? It's not like northern part of China people. They're more like open or they just more no, no, no. I think casual. I think thousand part people are just more elegant. So we just like grab the, the bowl and we just drink it straight from the I bowl. I like using spoon. Oh, it's hot, it's warm. It's not so heavy. It's meaty and hot. And uh, it's rich at the same time. Uh, in northern part of China, people love to eat lamb. And we like hot soups uh, because we can't eat it in the morning of the winter. The weather is kind of cold. Less pretty common in the northern part of China food cultures. Everywhere we go, uh, lamb soup, pork soup, beef soup, sour soup, pepper soup, they serve the same purpose as just warm your body. Mm. Just like whole bowl of soup, and we just like wash it down mm -hmm. and just start a full day of work because I think it's really good for Canadians. The weather is similar, yeah. Exactly. It's even worse, actually. <laughs> yeah, this one's just a pure joy. Here we are. So today's total is about forty dollars. Per person is about twenty dollars. And it's absolutely a must-try spot for everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have more questions, please comment down below. We'll see you next time. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Here we are. So today's total is about forty dollars. Per person is about twenty. What? What? <laughs>